Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am so excited to finally sit down and film this. I ordered an entire Wet n Wild collection off of Ulta. It just arrived, you guys. They did a full blown Saved by the Bell collection and I'm excited. I was a huge Saved by the Bell fan growing up. I have the theme song stuck in my head 24 seven right now. Ever since viewing this online, I would sing it to you, but I think I would get whoosh, like copyright strike, but I'm like, let's, let's all sing it together. Moving on. So um, let's dig in, right? How cute. So I, you don't have to order the full meal deal, but because, oh cute, look, they're all on the side here. Because I was gonna do this video, I figured why not? It comes in this big locker type um, box. This is not the PR. This is what I ordered off of Ulta. We're going to open this up. Da, 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 da. This is colorful. We are not lacking color. We are not lacking uh, the level of fun on the packaging here. Even if you weren't a Saved by the Bell fan, if you can get past the kind of, you know, it's like in your face packaging, I get it. It's a themed out collection, but the palette specifically, the eyeshadow palette, the colors in this palette are actually super beautiful. I'm excited to try this on. We're gonna test everything out together, swatch it all, talk about it. You can purchase these items individually. You don't have to have the full kit. So you could just get like the eyeshadow palette or a blush and it's wet and wild. So everything of course is not going to totally break the bank. It is drugstore makeup, drugstore pricing. We've got the relationship goals. This is a highlight and blush duo. We have Nerd Alert and we have It's All Right. So Nerd Alert looks more kind of pinky bronzy and then It's All Right is very much kind of a mauve and hot pink. There's a cute little, oh my gosh, this is a, are you kidding me? It's a cell phone, stop this right now. That is adorable, fun, cute, reminds me of like Mall Madness or one of those like board games back in the day. To those of you out there that are younger, that don't understand, cordless phones used to be a way of the future before the future actually happened and cell phones, that aren't even cell phones, that are actually smartphones that know more about life than you or I. We're in the future now, this used to be it. Do any of you remember, those of us that are like, you know, the 30s plus category, do you remember being on your cordless phone and sometimes it would zap into somebody else's call? That happened to me so many times where you'd have to be kind of like careful, like someone else would be like, hello, and like not on the same line. I'm talking like the wires would get crossed on your cordless. It's just like, I don't know, interesting random cordless phone memories. We have a Home of the Tigers Kabuki brush, some lip kits that we will get into, come with a liner and gloss, it looks like. There is a Saved by the Bell Bayside Cheerleading Mascara. And we also have Wanna Wrestle Setting Spray. I don't know, this packaging, mm, not my fave. I'm gonna say it, not my fave. There's alcohol in here, drying. Oh gosh, I can taste the air. Oh my gosh, I'm not putting that on. Okay, so we have a review, an immediate first impressions before we even got into any of the color makeup. You guys, this is like legit Victoria's Secret Bath and Body Works scented setting spray. I don't know that I would recommend putting this on your face. A, it might irritate. B, you're gonna get a headache. It smells like a floral factory up in here right now. Not even joking for a moment. Why would you fragrance it like this? Okay, this is like a cute little makeup bag to keep all of your, your Saved by the Bell goods in. It's like a little gym bag. Okay, let's get to applying some makeup. We're gonna start out by adding a little bit of blush just to liven up the face. I'm gonna go ahead and take Nerd Alert and I'm gonna dip into both pans. We have Pick You Up 7-ish and Sorry Screech. So I'm just gonna kind of tap into both here. Don't know how pigmented these will be, but I'm gonna just go right on the apples of the cheek. Typically I've had good luck with Wet n Wild blushes in the past. 
that's nice. It's not too crazy. I know in, which video was it? Ooh, that got a little crazy. I went like, whoa, with the blush. And I didn't realize until after I finished filming that yes, I enjoy a good loading up of the blush lately, but it was like, whoa, too much as I'm like pounding it on my face right now. This is a pretty color. It is very pigmented. I got a little too crazy with the placement here. I'm gonna take a brush that has some leftover translucent powder and just kind of blend out the edges a little bit where I got it too low. Wet n Wild products are notoriously so hard to get into the stickers that they use. What is the secret code? You know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, we're in. Ah, oh, man almighty, I just painted my nails. Not that I did the greatest job. Let's get real. I am not a pro manicure artist, but we're missing a chunk of polish. Thanks a lot, packaging went wild. Going into the relationship goals, little duo right here. I'm going to go into your crazy as highlight. That's really beautiful. Ooh, okay. That is super, super pretty. Go on the nose a little bit. Wet n Wild has always wowed me with their highlight. That is a pretty color too. It's like that light, icy kind of golden color. That's just super flattering. Let's try it a little bit on the shoulders as well. Why not? Really, really pretty. I actually am curious about this pink color too, just to add a little extra pop of blush on the blush. Not sure how I feel about the blush just yet, but I do really like the highlight. That color is phenomenal. That's the highlight. Ooh. Here is the blush in that duo. They are quite chunky as far as the powder dispersing and being pretty fluffy. It's not the type of powder that holds together very firm, so you will get quite a bit of kickback. I mean, on my phone right here, can you see? It's kind of, it got everywhere. But on the face applied, it looks gorgeous, but be warned. Ooh, I got it on my shirt somehow. This is the shade Nerd Alert, swatched for you guys. Really pigmented. And then let's crack into It's All Right. Ooh, wow. So those are super pigmented. We're gonna crack into this brush kit to use these brushes on the eyes. We have a couple of cute little brushes right here. This one I could have used for highlight. I'm actually happy I used a bigger one though because I really love that highlighter on the body, on the face. And then you have two smaller brushes here that we're gonna use on the eyes. I just watched this palette to do the inserts before kind of like messing it up and trying this on my eyes. And I have to say some of them swatched so beautifully. There are a few flops where it's like, oh, that was really powdery and not so pigmented, a little patchy. like. You know, I'm curious how it would go on the eyes, but overall this palette swatches really, really nicely. I am going to uh, give you guys a look at the swatches and then we'll get to the eye look itself. Let's start out with, uh, is it this? Wow, hello, I can't figure this out. <laughs> I never know when they don't have the names on the actual palette and you go on the back, I have a full blown like dyslexic moment. Uh, and I can't figure out which side is which. I know, I know my brain is a little, a little wacky sometimes. I'm gonna go ahead and look at it like I'm looking down at the palette and we will start with left to right, the shade Time Out, Forever Friends, Preppy, Hall Pass, and Checkmate. Now Checkmate, the black one, is a little bit choppy, not my fave, didn't swatch too well, and also the teal shade Preppy just really was very, very chalky and did not hold together on the swatch at all, really. Then we move into this glitter, which is so beautiful. I absolutely love that it's duochrome. I love how it's holding together. I've had a few small issues with the smaller palettes from Wet n Wild as far as the glitter being a little bit loose. This one feels like it's nice and tight and there's a nice gel base in there. The shade Ditch Day is great. Then you have Sweetheart Dance, 
You Me Prom, which I love. Oh my gosh, purple speaks to me. And this is a metallic that is so stunning. Then you have Go Bayside, Beat Valley. Then we go to the last row. You have Malibu Sands, which is gorgeous. Hot Sunday, I'm So Excited, Detention, and Hey, Hey, Hey. Let's do an eye look. Oh my gosh, no. Oh my gosh, I can't open it. I literally just broke the whole palette. Stop. Oh my gosh, stop it. <gasps> that sucks. <laughs> We're gonna count to 10. <laughs> Part of the plastic literally like hit me directly on the center of my nose. We're gonna pretend that didn't happen and that this is not as sharp of an edge as it is. I'm gonna in my mind think, you know what? A lot of these shades I'm loving, I can just depot them, pop them into a Z palette. A little bit bummed because this is a limited edition collection where you know you want that Save by the Bell kind of cover maybe. Uh, be warned, it is not a high quality case that this product comes in, so be gentle with it. I don't know what I did to make it um, close and not wanna open, but it was literally stuck. So I think breaking it really was my only option. I wanna do kind of a, what kind of look do I wanna do? Ow, my nose actually like legit hurts. Mm. This is hilarious, right? I'm gonna go into this matte shade here first, just build up the crease a little bit. I barely want it to show. And then I'm gonna go into the purple. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Okay, we're just gonna go on the outer edge. Ooh, that is some pigmentation. Really beautiful brown, like, if I was just doing like a one and done, like maybe I'd pop just a little bit of color on the lid and be like, out the door. This is a pretty shade. Like that is a flattering brown, right? It's like kind of a more cool toned, but still saddle kind of a brown, if that makes sense. And it's not fluffing everywhere, which I appreciate because these do to the touch feel a little bit on the fluffier side. I'm like shocked that I like that brown so much. All right, moving into, what do we wanna do? No, green. Do we want it to do purple? Do I, should I do the purple? You know what? Let's do both. Like, why not? Let's just kind of go there and just see how they apply on the lid. Oh, yes. That is really pretty. What a unique shade too. I'm gonna be a little more precise and take a flat brush and go into the purple. It's not picking up on a brush as much as a finger, but we're gonna try. I don't even know what kind of look this is. I just kind of had that craving to wanna to try it on the lid, blend it out, bop, 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 see if we could just get some nice color payoff and just try it out and see how it, it looks. And this is what I'm talking about. I'm doing that thing where I'm like, I wanna try every color out all at once because it's a new pretty palette. But in your day to day, like seriously, the prettiest looks sometimes are the ones that are the most pulled back. That is such a gorgeous purple. I love that. I'm gonna go ahead and take an itty bitty brush and go into the darker chocolatey brown and just Deepen up the outer edge ever so slightly. Okay. And you know what? Should we just, because we're trying it, let's just like put a dab of the glitter on? Just like right. like a tiny little bit.
Woo, we got some reflection going on. The sun is going down. All right, you guys, this is the completed look. Everything saved by the bell. I have to say I'm surprised by how much I love from this collection. The packaging, of course, is a little cheesy, but that's kind of the theme of the whole collection itself because the show was kind of cheesy, but so many of us loved it. The palette breaking was not pleasant, but I do have to say I like so many of the eyeshadows in there. I'm excited to depot this, use it again. The brown, I love. The glitter, I love. The metallics, I love. Love. super beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and say a surprise hit for me is the mascara. It did not clump. It went on really evenly, beautifully, no lashes, no liner, and I feel like my eyes are framed and looking good top and bottom. Also, I did not think I would like the glosses as much as I do. They are minty, dare I say a little bit plumping, and they smell like bubble gum. They smell so delicious. The lip liners I could do without they're a little bit dry, and I think, you know, you're gonna get both of them in each kit. I did try all three of them on for you. The first one I tried on was the Kelly Collection, and then I went into the Jesse Collection, and then what I'm wearing on my lips right now is the Lisa Collection, and I really like it. Like, it has a nice juicy shine to it. It's not overly gloppy. Doesn't really do too much of the stringy thing, the separation thing when you wear too much gloss, even though I'm wearing a heavy hand of a vinyl type gloss. Like there's a lot on here and it's not goopy, you know, like it looks good. The highlighter I love, the brushes are so, so. Was there anything else I didn't like? Oh, the scent of the setting spray. I'm just not even gonna put that on my face because spraying it, like literally I feel like I can still smell it. So that is a pass for me. And I think the blush is not something I was too terribly excited about. The duo that has the highlight in it, I love, but be warned because it will fluff everywhere. As we can see, I got some on my shirt. It kind of dispersed all over my phone. But if you're a little more careful with it, use a little more sparingly, it does give you a beautiful, beautiful glow. So that is that. Everything said and done, I would say this is like a solid A. This is a great collection, affordable. You can find it at Ulta. I don't know if it's gonna be sold elsewhere, but I ordered it online, not sponsored, just was really curious because again, I was a fan of the show growing up and a lot of you guys were asking about this. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, share it, leave your comments. I hope you guys are having a good one and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.